Hello friends, in today's video we're going to be dealing with this uh, Toyota Yaris. This is 2008 model. Uh, we've got the engine management light and uh, also the oil light on this uh, instrument cluster. The oil light just uh, comes and goes. So we're going to do a diagnostic on it to find out what the issue is. Right, so we are using a top down uh, uh, diagnostic uh, software to look for the problem. There we go. Right, so we'll have to do it manually. Right, so we're gonna choose the Toyota option and then we're gonna press OK and it's gonna look for the model of the car. Uh, 16 pin European okay so now yes it is scanning nicely right here we are right let's see right here we are so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go for the smart scan so it's gonna scan different modules on this uh, car got one fault on ABS one on uh, EMPS and then uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to go into the individual module here so we're going to go to this one ECM uh, it says camshaft position A timing over advanced and system perform system performance and the second one is uh, again uh, bank one to bank one there so we're just going to enter into this to see what the issue is so read fault code okay there we go so we've got the cam shaft position a and the cam shaft so that we, the codes we are getting here is p001 one okay so we're gonna clear it here that's that done okay so we've cleared that fault and uh, so then the next bit we're going to go is we're going to go into the ABS right so we're going to enter into it says low or high voltage uh, low or high power supply voltage so just going to go into this to see what the issue is here right so let's go to the fault code clear fault code okay so here we've got uh, c12 1241 so which is uh, low or high power supply voltage so we're just gonna clear that one here okay so that's gonna clear it from the memory okay so let's go back here again into the uh, modules so now we're gonna go to EMPS so that is the lost communication with the fuel injector control module right so let's uh, click on to let's enter into this and then uh, I'm gonna read that yeah so this code is U0105 so just gonna clear it by clicking this button here so that's that cleared right Let's go back back again back again and then uh, EOBD one so that's this one is uh, a cam sharp position timing over O system performance bank one so again what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the 
we're gonna go into that just gonna enter into it gonna do is we're gonna go to the we're gonna go into that just gonna enter into it enter so let's go for the live read live data okay so just gonna click all of it So we're just gonna read the live data on all of that. So we're gonna do is select all here and then okay. So here we go, we are reading the live data here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna crank the car up, start here. Uh, recording in now so what we got here is uh, absolute load vol vol value and then throttle position is uh, 15.686 absolute uh, throttle position accelerator pedal position is 16.078 and then uh, what else we got here okay catalytic uh, temperature bank one sensor one uh, so that's 381 is coming down so catalytic temperature bank one sensor and the rest so it's recording is uh, giving us the live date of uh, uh, what's happening in the engine okay so that's that done so it's just gonna stop okay and then uh, let's go to the graph so let's see the value here so that's uh, giving us uh, all the values 